Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about counter counterclockwise rotations. Um, we talked about clockwise in the last video. Um, so let's go ahead and get on with it. So I want to go, I want to take this triangle here, and I want to rotate it 90 degrees here in the quadrant one, right? And to do that, we're not going to do anything much different than what we already saw in the previous video. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take this guy, go 90 degrees, right in this right triangle that I drew, of course, is a one by two, right? So calibration on my tablet is off and it's driving me crazy. But anyway, that would become my A2 now, right? And if I go ahead and draw out the rest of it, Okay, so this would become B2 and C2. Okay, so now let's look at the numerical pattern, just like what we saw in the last video, so that we can make a generalization. So if I'm going 90 degrees um, counterclockwise, right? And of course, that means we're turning the steering wheel to the left now. Okay, our generalization would be, of course, that we go from X comma Y to we don't know. Okay, let's see. So, starting with vertex A, we go from 2 by negative 1 to 1 by positive 2. Okay, looking at B, uh, we go from 3 by negative 3 to 3 by 3. And C1, from C1 to C2, we go from 1 by negative 3 to 3 by positive 1. Okay, so obviously we see X and Y change places, right? We also see that we have a sign change going on here, right? So looking at the C's, we've got uh, 1 by negative 3 becomes positive 3 by 1. Okay, so our generalization that we can make, and let me not write so giant here. I did not give myself enough room. A generalization would become, well, duh, there's a flip. And there's also a sign change. The question is, how do we denote it, right? So this right here, this Y coordinate went from negative three to flipping places and becoming a positive three. So that tells me I had a Y sign change. The X coordinate went from being positive one to staying a positive one in the Y coordinates place. So that tells me Y and X flip places uh, and there's a Y sign change. So when I go to make the uh, generalization, the literal one in words, I'm gonna say flip X and Y, and a Y sign change. Okay, simple. Right, so now let's take it a step further. And this is where we're going to start making some generalizations uh, that really are going to clear some things up with other multiples of 90, like uh, 270 and 360. Right, so let's say now that I want to do... 180 degrees um, counterclockwise. Okay, well, let's think about that for a second. Okay, in the last video, uh, we came to the generalization that 180 degrees clockwise versus counterclockwise was going to end up being the same thing, right? And, I mean, feel free to look into that as much as you want yourself. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll draw it out. So if I take this and I go 180 degrees, right? That's going to put me from quadrant four uh, into quadrant two, right? And now I see that I'm going to have my right triangle come right over here. Okay, so that would be 180 degree rotation. That would become a two. And then, of course, we would have uh, C2 would be here on the right now. B2 would be here on the left. Okay, now, what if we didn't go, 
what if we didn't go um, counterclockwise? What if we went clockwise this time? Right, we're going to see that the exact same thing is going to happen. So I'm going to go 180 degrees the other way now. So clockwise, right? And guess what? It's going to look exactly, exactly, exactly the same. Okay, no matter how I do it, right? So I literally can just copy and paste from here um, my generalization for clockwise of 180. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. I know from the previous video, all I did was change both signs, nothing flipped. Okay, so we go from x, y to negative x, negative y. Right, and this is of course with counterclockwise 180. I forgot to write down the degree up here. Okay, so same thing there. Okay, so now we're going to make a few other um, a few other generalizations, and actually, I'll probably save that for another video. Okay, so that does it for this video. Um, that's how we rotate counterclockwise. Uh, in the final video, we'll go ahead and make a few other conclusions about as, as far as 270 degrees and 360 goes. If you have any questions about this, obviously let me know. Goodbye.